Hello there and welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be a slightly different type of video to what I usually do on my channel. Instead of a polygon animation, it's going to be a comparison between two of the computers, well, laptops really, that I have been using as my daily driver for the last couple of months now. This will be the start to a series of comparisons between these two computers, the HP 250G1 and the Le Lenovo ThinkPad T400. Keeping in mind that these two computers were released a good six years apart from one another, with the ThinkPad being released in 2008 and the HP being released in 2014, the pass mark scores for these laptops are rather surprising as the ThinkPad beat the HP's score by almost 300%, the HP gained a score of 142.3 and the ThinkPad gained a fairly respectable score of 357.3. Although it does lose some points for blue screening on the filmed one, thanks to a dodgy graphics driver that tends to crash when attempting to use the DirectX 12. Hopefully this won't be an issue as to my knowledge, my preferred editing program doesn't utilise DX12 for rendering, although I could be wrong. The HP at least attempts to run DirectX 12 while only getting around 1-2 to two frames per second at best. The next video in this series will be taking a look into how each of these systems rendered this video because I don't know, I'll just help a good video export test. So that should be out sometime next week if I don't get swamped down with other editing work as I'm working with all my e friends to edit some of their videos. So if you want to see my editing on their stuff, go to their YouTube at Nightcrawler Core Gaming. The ThinkPad CPU is a fairly old Core 2 Duo P8400 which predates the well now the the now well known i series of Intel processors. The ThinkPad also only has Intel integrated graphics to my knowledge, as none of the graphics drivers that I've tried for the other variants of this laptop have worked so far, but this could also be due to there being little to no driver support for this laptop on Windows 10, but nevertheless, it still works well enough for me to edit videos, in excluding the rendering part, as when I went to export a video I was editing for my friend, the estimated export time was 13 hours, keeping in mind that this was a like 3 hour long video entirely in 720p60, which is quite a lot higher than what the HP estimated. This is most likely due to how the HP CPU is twice as powerful according to the sc score and pass mark compared to the ThinkPad. Either way, for a laptop from 2008, the ThinkPad still holds up very well today for things like schoolwork and light video editing with a bit of slowdown. I have upgraded this ThinkPad from the stock 2 to 3 gigabytes, depending on the variant to 6 gigabytes, thanks to some random sticks of DDR3 I had laying around. I've also swapped out the stock WD Blue 160 gigabyte 5400 RPM drive, which has been with this laptop since new, with a 1 terabyte to cheaper 5400 RPM drive. The HP is running a Core i3-3100M with 4 gigs of RAM and its stock 5400 RPM HGST drive. It also has Intel's built-in graphics, but they are a lot newer thanks to the, the newer CPU inside of it. HP's trackpad actually died fully a year or so into my family owning it, meaning that I now have to use an external mouse to basically do anything useful on the system. The same can't be said for the ThinkPad, which holds up very well structurally, and considering it's an ex-business machine, it's in very good shape with a light amount of wear on the keyboard, and some on the of the rubber lid coating bearing off on the edges of the system. Overall, I have to say that I prefer the ThinkPad over the HP, this far at least, thanks to its great keyboard and build quality, but it's a little let down by its aging performance, which of course expected from something of its age. Anyway, this has been Blep, and I hope you have a nice day.